It's not that I'm happy, but at the same time, I'm not sorry. Things aren't right. That's the slogan, because it's very much evident they're passing through a rough time. They're going through a lot. There's a lot of mismanagement. There's a lot to be done and there's no one to do it. A lot of uh, miserable things happening at a span of a very short time. Crisis after crisis after crisis. We aren't advocating for this. But one thing I can say, the Windsor at the same time is just kind of getting what they deserved. I love the fact that Harry decided to take the right path and that was to kind of look on something that is very much beneficial and that was to protect his mental health, to protect his wife and kids, to protect his entire family from the toxicity back in the UK and look at what they have to deal with with now there's so much bitter there's so much unhappy cause of course they don't know what to do yes harry and megan are busy making uh, harry and megan are busy proving a point busy proving that you know what we were kind of the ones holding that farm and yes you can see it now in our absentia what is taking place nothing of course rather than just left right center william catno walking less yes I don't know. What's your take on this? Daily Mail, with the winds of war in crisis, it's clear that the Sussexers should have stayed. But they couldn't stay now that the environment was so much toxic. They couldn't stay now that they were never appreciated. They couldn't stay that they were never respected. Trolling, abused, harassed, insulted, even in public. And yet, here they are now. That never stopped them from looking forward. That never literally stopped them from, you know, just making moves. Nope, it didn't. It's this week where we, where the royals, Dama broke. It is irrevocably changed. Or is this just a bad week? And all will be forgotten as soon as the Princess of Wales fully rusted from her emergency BBL, comes out to public events. I don't know, but it definitely feels like more people are paying attention to the royal clone show. And it's because no one from the royals to their staffers can do their job properly. Whose fault is that? You guessed it, Harry and Meghan. At least according to the Daily Mail's Maureen, who wrote a particular panicked piece about how everything in a Windsor is falling apart and Harry and Meghan don't even have the dancey to come running back to save the Windsor. Why should they? They were never respected. They were never appreciated. They were showed that you don't belong here. They were never treated right, abused right, and uh, just over and over again. So them running back to assess a falling monarchy, definitely not Harry and Meghan, most especially, definitely not Meghan. After what she had to deal with, after what she had to go through, Mind you, definitely not Harry and Meghan. Some highlights from a soul-crushing picture of royals in peril. Disgraced Andrew given star billing as Kate and Charles recover. Will scores missing. And Harry and Meghan slack in Montecito. Maureen asks, how does the monarchy come back from this? I love the fact that they're getting back to their senses because I'm like, okay, so they can feel that the gap Harry and Meghan left. No one, it's, it's irreplaceable. Like literally no one can feel it. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. And they haven't seen it yet. They haven't seen it yet. That's all what I can see. They better get ready for even, allow me not to say the worst. But they better get ready for the outcome awaiting them just ahead.
and they'll for sure regret whatever they did over the years but there's no a comeback like literally there's never getting back we all knew this would happen as soon as the locals you know started talking about the mysterious the mysteries about around cat's disappearance not to mention the larger conversation about William looking drunk, strung, out and unprepared. Of course, it's all Harry and Meghan's fault, right? Why couldn't they stick around and take abuse for years just to be a convenient scapegoat for William and Kat for the rest of their lives? Why didn't Harry and Meghan want that? Yeah. And here's something else. Nothing has been right with the family since the SARS exit. I'm not saying Megan's ancestors put a curse on the left behinds, but I'm not saying it either. The way everything has unfolded over the past four years has been really something. I kept thinking back to the deal William and Charles made around the SAS exit too, that Charles would sign off on pushing the Sussexers out with the understanding that William and Kat would finally step out. Oh well, I have never been happier than the Sussexers got out while the getting was quiet. I've never been happier like this ever before because what they're facing i bet they deserve it they were on the so much front line wanting never to see harry and megan there because they saw them as a competition they thought harry and megan live and william and cat will step up but look what they have to deal with i'm like gosh so this is what will be when you know it kind of it's kind of william's turn because Harry is never ready to get him back to be anyone's scapegoat. Never ready to be painting a positive picture of people who don't even appreciate it. Because it's basically Harry and Meghan who are kind of making this thing work. Kind of just, I know, I know you can understand where this whole thing is coming from. And that's why I have always started and I'll continue saying this. Ever since they left, truth keeps on unveiling itself. Their absence there is so much missed. It's just that they can't admit it. But yes, they're missing it out. Just looking at Daily Mail having this. Just did a previous video over. Good morning, Britain, having some other story. GB News with other story. And I'm like, God, this is what we expected. It would happen someday because what else were they expecting? What else were they expecting uh, that it will be an outcome? That's all what I can say. I don't know what are some of your thoughts. I don't know what you think about this. But we're watching it from a distance. That what, that's all what I can say. I remember telling you guys, William needs to understand. People are watching. People can see. People are watching. People are busy taking notes. And trust me, you, it will haunt him someday. The same way he treated Harry and Meghan, karma is busy working so well on them. Let's see how this all goes. Just kindly comment your thoughts down below. Hoping to see you guys in our next videos.